when it comes to gaming unlike a lot of people or as a lot of people i'm a ubisoft fan i like the games don't hate me for it but i just like the way they do i just like the ubisoft formula um but i'm not a big fan of live services i will be honest i don't like the way they work all i've seen online youtube little reviews of the gameplay and such forth is that everybody's sh shitting on this game like really badly um now when i watch the trailers and watch the gameplay i've not really found it that bad um as long as they release a working game and remember this is rocksteady and they made the arkham series and batmans were amazing so i'm giving them a little bit of leeway in that fact and then when i'm looking at the gameplay and the size of the city and such for looks enormous I'm not seeing anything that bad. People keep moaning about the gameplay and such forth, but I'm I, I'm not seeing anything that bad. Now I might I might be one in a million, I know. But recently they've started releasing a few tweets and a, a few little leaks as to they're going to be releasing these DLC characters. Now what concerns me about this is they say that the first one, the Joker, will be free. But that's not going to come till season one. But then they're talking about another four or another couple Miss Freeze, Lawless, Deathstroke. Um, how much? How much they're going to cost? Is it going to be twenty twenty quid? Because I, I'm not. I, I think they charge too much for these DLCs. Modern Warfare and Call of Duty. I I I bought every every Call of Duty ever, and then the last two I've just not bought whatsoever because it started with where they where they were they charging thirty quid for for skins. Do they want a wide audience or are they just trying to have a niche audience? Because they lowered the prices just a little bit. Do they not understand how it works? The lower the price, the more people will buy. The higher the price, less people will buy. It, it's such a weird mindset. Um, so they're on about these four, but then later on down the line, they're saying that there's going to be some... This tweet here says, he's seen Killer Croc, Katana, and a couple of other players that'll be here. All I'm bothered about is how much they cost. Now, I'll play the game. Because people are moaning about it. But come on. You've had King Kong. That was released horrendously. You've had Gollum. You've had Redfall last year. Now people will... My, I Listen. I put 100 hours into Starfield. Or just over 100 and odd hours. That game was boring as shit. It was. I did it anyway. But it was boring as shit. All I care about is how much is it gonna how much are these extra bits gonna cost? Now if they're cheap enough, yeah fine I'll I'll have a go, but if they're not, I'm I am not bothering whatsoever. But me personally I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to having a was on it, jumping around, climbing, blah blah. To me it looks looks quite fun. That's all I'm interested in. Fun. Will it give me fun for an hour, two hours? Every you know over night time, I'm not interested in whether it's you know set a certain way. I mean, I don't understand how just to sleep. Uh, the these four can kill Superman, but that's just my own thing. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give it a go. How about you? Are you gonna give it a go? I am. As I say, this live service thing, I'm not really into it, but it's the way they're going and there's nothing you can do to stop their mindset. 
doesn't matter what you say, doesn't matter what tweets you put out, they don't care. They see a trend, they run with it, and by the time... I mean, I can imagine this has been in development for many, many a year, and the trend of live services has kind of died down a bit. Ubisoft are obviously still going strong with it. Um, but we'll see, we'll see. What do you think? Let me know. And I'll see you in the next one.